What's up, Peak Timers? Let's open up the newest Hot Wheels. And we'll start it off with the Volkswagen Baja Bug Treasure Hunt. You can see the Treasure Hunt logo just right there underneath. And I'll show you where it is on the car itself after we open it. And there is our Baja Bug. And you can see just right there on the back, you can see the Treasure Hunt logo. And if we flip it around to this side, we can also see the Treasure Hunt logo just on the same area right there. But there is our Baja Bug, obviously being an off-road bug. You can see the big push bar on the front. We've got some accessories on the top and you can see that exposed engine on the rear, but a pretty cool looking Treasure Hunt. Porsche 911 Turbo 364 Tuned Edition. And there is our tuned Porsche in black right there. Look at that with that weird looking roof line that kind of comes up right there. We got turbo on the back right there, Porsche 911. We got the nice tampo work, the exhaust right there. There is from the front end. It's very interesting of a vehicle. It's kind of a love or hate it. Some people like these tuned cars, some people don't. I find them quite interesting to see what Mattel and Hot Wheels can do to make a cartoon. Mad Mike Drift Attack from HW Exotics. And check out the interesting design on this car. We've got that like cut roof line right there, which is super interesting. Nice spoiler on the back, which comes out right there. Very supercar-esque of a car. Obviously made for drift. We can see the Mad Mike's logo on the front end right there. We got the blue base on there as well. Interesting two different wheel tire combination. And there's our rear end. Look at the weird fin that it has coming out the bottom for the diffuser. And then we have the wing on the back of it. What an interesting design Hot Wheels car. Custom small block from Brick Rides. We got a new color variation of custom small block. And obviously if you don't know, we have the removable pieces on here for this one as it's part of our Mega Block series right there. And we'll put these ones back on. You can see the new color variation for these. So you can build up and you can play around with it, put all different types of pieces. It does work with Lego as well, but super interesting design of a car. It's definitely something different. Classic 55 Nomad from HW Wagons. Check out this one right here. We got the big classic Nomad written on the back of it. Just in case you didn't know this was a Nomad, they definitely let you know. We got the Chevy logo on the back as well as some other striping and stuff down there as well. Look at the front end, great detail on that front hood right there. Kind of an interesting roof on here with that kind of jagged look right there. And on the back end, it kind of continues on the rear trunk and hatch right there. Chrome on the base, but all around, there is your classic Nomad. Alfa Romeo GT V6 3.0 from Retro Racers. And this is a recolor in this kind of off-white. We got this one originally in the red. We got the number six on the side. These wheels are definitely something interesting, something unique and different. You can see that hood scoop on the front end right there. No striping or painting on the top. They've left it all for the sides. You can see how much detail they have in the paintwork for the side right there. Same with the back. There's nothing right there. It's all just for that side. And on the bottom, we have a little bit of a matte gray base on this one. HW Papa Willy from HW Drag Strip. And this one is in an interesting matte gray color as well. And we got metallic flake in it. We got some stamping on the front right there as well as the roof. Pretty interesting. Look at the design of this car. This is just absolutely crazy. We have the engine in the back right there. I don't know, like, is this supposed to be a seat or something? I'm not really sure exactly what that's supposed to be. I think it's just the engine right there. But look at that. Look at the bodywork. Look at the exhaust coming out right there. It's just something definitely crazy. I believe it is how it goes like this, where it drives forward. So that's probably is the seat. And then it pop a wheelies up and it's got this little wheelie on the bottom right there. And that's how it's supposed to go down the drag strip like that. Limited grip from HW Hot Trucks. I really like this new casting right here. It's a really cool looking truck. Love the detail they have in the back. This is a nice matte finish paint job on this one as well. Really cool gold mesh wheels on there with some writing on the side of it right there. And you can see that exposed kind of like turbos on the front for that engine right there. That's super interesting. Big push bar on the front so it can push cars out of the way while it's racing. We got that open trunk like right here with no latch or anything like that. It's an interesting casting. It's definitely a, a neat little recolor to this one. Rescue Duty from HW Rescue. 
And this one is an animal rescue. As you can see, it says right there on the side of it, blacked out wheels with the colored lip on there. So that's kind of interesting of a look. We've got the side exhaust on there, the lights on the top, and look at the front end design of that. That's definitely something a little bit different. Animal rescue, you can see right there. And on the back end, we've got, looks like, like some sort of ambulance style backing right there. Overall, not really my favorite casting though. McLaren Solus GT from HW Exotics. And this is definitely one of the ones that I've been looking forward to, the Solus GT. It's a V10 in real life, so it's super interesting. They've brought a V10 into this track car right here from McLaren. It's got the center seating solo position right there, so very, very cool. They call it the Solus GT, I think, for being a solo seater car. You can see on the back end right there all the different diffuser, the wing that kind of meshes in. It's an interesting car. It's definitely a little bit different of a design. It, I think this one came from the Gran Turismo game, if I'm not mistaken, but I do like it and I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do with it as far as recolors and maybe into premium. 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302 from the Then and Now series. And I really like this casting, been a big fan of it, even came to the RLC line and it's just done so well. I love the way that they have these kind of louvers on the side, just over the wheels. The fenders just look so good on there. They've done it really well. And then the Falcon Edition, Falcon Edition, you can see the nice chrome on the bottom. Look at the colorway that they have blended from the front to the rear, modern looking wheels on this one. Nice looking rear end for this Mustang. So overall, it's a great looking car. Audi 90 Quattro from Retro Racers. And this is our first recolor of this one. We saw it originally in white. This red looks fantastic on here. It's a really, really nice glossy red color. This, the way this car is, the way how like wide it is, it's just super unique. It's super cool looking. It's definitely something different from a Hot Wheels format. When you actually open this car and hold it in your hand, it definitely feels different. It feels wider than a standard Hot Wheels, but that's just how this car was. It was a wide car and it was made for racing. You can see these unique wheels that they have on here. Just a really, really cool looking recolor. Love that front end with the Audi logo right there as well. Volvo Drift Wagon from HW Slammed. And this is the main line of what would be a super treasure hunt, but this is just the regular variation of it. Still very nicely done. It's a super metallic, glossy green. We got Volvo 240 on the back. Some nice graphics on the side, different color wheel, tire combination, as you can see in that big lip on that rear. And this is this part's like super smooth as well, which is interesting. Kind of a cool design, how they've done that. I like that open sunroof right there, as you can see in the inside of it, there's the front end right there. We've got the lights coming through and on the rear end, and you can see it says slammed on that license plate. Really, really cool looking, something different to get a customized Volvo. Datsun Bluebird Wagon 510 from HW Wagons. And this one also being a Super Treasure Hunt, and this one is the mainline variation of it. I did get the Super Treasure Hunt in my case, and in our next case, which ones these are all from, this was the mainline variation of it, which I finally get to open up. Super cool looking car, I love the wheels on here, just super, super unique. Uh, newer wheel to the main lines, 510 on the side. Look at the graphics that they have all around of it. Just a cool, cool color to this one. This is one of the more popular super treasure hunts and main lines for this year. What do you guys think of this Datsun 510 Bluebird wagon? Mad Manga from HW Rescue. And this one, as you can see, it looks like a Japanese police edition of the Mad Manga. Very, very interesting. You can see the big exhaust that comes out. These are cars that they have in Japan, which are popular. Very, very interesting. You can see that huge front lip on their very unique design. Some of these are making their way over to North America. People are liking them here, so they're importing them. But super interesting to see this one as a police car with those stripes and the exhaust and the police written on the side. What do you guys think of the Mad Manga. 1986 Toyota van from HWJ Imports. And this one is a new recolor of it. You can see it's kind of like a maroonish brown. Not my favorite color at all. Not really liking that, but it's just an interesting casting to see in the Hot Wheels lineup. You can see it from the front end right there. You can see these wheels on here. I think I remember seeing these back in the day driving around here, but not so many nowadays. What do you guys think of this Toyota van though? Koenigsegg Jamera from HW Exotics. 
a brand new recolor to this one. It's kind of like a burnt orange color blacked out wheel. It's pretty stealth looking. I actually do like this one. You can see from the front end right there and the nice stamping for those lights. Good design on this one. And you can see those glossy black wheels look so good on it. Really, really liking those there from the back end. You can see the design and there's our ghost logo right there as well, which all the Konos eggs do have. What do you guys think of the new color of the Konos egg Jamera? 64 Lincoln Continental from HW Slammed. Look at how long this casting is and how low it is with these low rider style look to it. Look at all the graphics all over it as well. These gold mesh wheels, gold on the base as well. Check that out. That is super interesting to see. We can see that gold front grill that kind of blends in all those graphics on there. I'm not really a huge fan of the color. It's a nice metallic color, but it's not really my thing. But what do you guys think? It's a cool, cool looking casting. We've seen this one before and we've seen it come back in many different colors now. Land Rover Series 3 from Baja Blazers. I've been waiting to open this casting up because of how unique we have on the top right here. So we do have this plastic piece for our windshield and does it actually fold up and down? This is something I've been looking to see and wondering if it actually does. Let's see. No, unfortunately, it does not fold up and down. I really thought it did for some reason. I thought that this opened up and down, but now we can see it's kind of meshed right into our front tire right there. Really cool though that we do have this surfboard on the back of it. I think that's super interesting, super unique to see. It's still very detailed of a casting. I mean, I guess that's asking for a little bit too much to have this much detail on this casting already and then have that like moving part on there. We can see it is right hand drive, so it's from the UK most likely, but very, very cool looking casting. Super interesting to see. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the flip open windshield, but that's okay. It's still nice to have. 69 Charger 500 from then and now. Check out this color on here. Very, very cool looking, very metallic looking. We got the stripe that goes down the front and then it continues down the rear, not on the roof at all. Gold wheels on here, Dodge written on side, lots of graphics on the side of it, the 500 logo on the back right there. You can see that chrome bumper. Chrome will be all underneath this one as well, but it's a nice new recolor to the Charger 500. 84 Pontiac Firebird from Muscle Mania. We got the white Firebird right here. It says Trans Am on the side of it. We got the blacked out wheels, which look good. T-roofs on the top of it. A little bit of a blue stripe that comes down that air intake. We got the Firebird logo just right there on the front end. The 84 wasn't my favorite. I think it was when like 86 came around where they changed the body style a little bit. And I think it looked a lot better, but nonetheless, I think these ones with the T-roofs, the design of this one's pretty clean. It's a pretty cool looking car. And there we have all of the cars that we opened up today. Comment down below your favorite one.